Hi guys, getting ready to do your reading. But first, I want to thank you so much for all of your support and love and, you know, liking videos and purchasing extended readings and personal readings and how much you have supported my channel. It's almost up to 100,000. I am so thankful and I am just so thankful for all of you. So blessings and love to you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have made this journey wonderful. So I want to do your reading next because your last reading was about work and it was a warning to someone about their job. So I'm going to see what we channeled this time. Messages for Libra, please. Six of Wands, Seven of Swords. Oh, Three of Swords. Someone may be hiding a broken heart. This does not have to be you at the center of the reading. Some, uh, hopefully no one is happy that they broke someone's heart, but we'll see. Seven of Cups, Eight of Coin, and the King of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius you're wondering about. Two of Wands, the Six of Coin, and the Three of Wands, I'm sorry, Six of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Sun. If you can see that, yes, you can. We have Judgment, Ace of Wands. Six of Coins, Chariot, and the Ace of Coins. Wow, you got some interesting stuff here. So... All right, let's start with what I'm seeing here. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody at your work. You're wondering how they feel. Seven of Cups, and it could be a fire sign. What is the Three of Swords? Wow, someone's really worried here. I, hopefully this is not you, Libra. This could be the other person. What is the Seven of Swords? The Moon. Someone's like carrying around some worry or grief. Okay, this could be someone you work with who's not sharing these things with you, possibly. I feel like you have someone around you who really cares about you. Because the Six of Cups doesn't have to be an ex or the past. It can be a soulmate. So there could be a soulmate that's at your job that you guys definitely have something going on. Like, um, how do I say it? Like, you know that they like you, you like them. There's not a lot of maybe conversation yet, but it's coming in. This person is very kind and caring with the Six of Cups. I like the Six of Cups. It's not a past life, which I, I know it already is because I can see what they're doing. Either you're helping them through something or they're helping you. But this is going to blossom and lead to something I feel very special. Okay, because what's coming in is once the two of you start getting to know each other, you guys start talking, this is what's coming in the sun. One of you, or maybe even both, I mean... You guys, someone's in a negative, bad relationship. They, they're not showing it on the outside, Six of Wands. They appear like everything is good. But on the inside, they are. They have a lot of fear here, worry. Um, the Seven of Swords could just be them hiding it and not telling you everything. Could be a partner, those cheating. This person's brokenhearted. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, they're, they're really sad. This could be you, though, because this person may come in and help you. So you may be wondering how this person feels about you. If you're, for some reason, I feel like, well, one person probably is in a relationship. I don't know if both of you are. They are going to be kind to you, Six of Coin. And it is going to lead to something more of the Ace of Coin. There's going to be a very strong connection. So I want to warn you now from what I'm seeing here. Even though the Ace of Cups is in here, because it's not starting out, I feel, as a love relationship. It's starting out as, I want to help you, I want to comfort you. Um, you're a good person. I enjoy being with, or, you know, working with you, that type of energy. But it's going to help both of you. Like, just open up. I feel like this is going to be a really good relationship. Unfortunately, I don't know who's married, and, and that always causes complications. But this new bond that you're forming with this person is going to allow you to actually, like, go to a better place. Because you're going from the Ten of Wands, you're going down to Six of Swords to like I feel like I feel like burdens are being lifted the more you guys communicate and talk and eat lunch together and share um, it's like the burdens lifted this person you guys intuitive intuitively pick up on each other 
it's almost like you're like light as a feather I, I don't know why i get that i know that doesn't make sense but it's like everything just kind of floats away because this is the sun this is how you're feeling the problem is though i do see you falling in love so i'm hoping now that the night the three of swords is not you falling in love with this person they might be a pisces you have taurus here leo cancer so i feel like they may ask you to go away on a trip with them or maybe you'll ask them so i'm seeing here i see them wanting to start an affair with you all right what is the ace of wands yeah there's some hidden feelings here no doubt but there yeah but there is this feeling of when they they arrive at work like you're happy or this is how they feel about you usually down here it's the other person so they're hiding how they're feeling but they have that nine of cups when you're around so it definitely looks like a secret love affair at work this though it's going to be difficult well actually it doesn't show up being difficult here just i don't want you to get your heart broken is all that would not be good yeah because this is you, right? You are seeing you're seeing things clearly. The two of you are falling in love. So where is this going to go? What is the seven of cups up here? What is the seven of cups? You've been wondering about this person. You've been wondering how they feel about you. Seven of cups, please. It could be a Scorpio, but I don't think I don't think it is. I think some of you are like we should probably end this with a death card. There's an offer here. Knight of coin. Oops, I just dropped a whole bunch of cards out. We have the devil. Can you see him? Excuse me. In reverse. That may be what the death card is. Because I, I know you're falling in love with the seven of cups. You want to know how they feel. And I don't feel it's a Scorpio. But for death to fall, to me, that's kind of weird. But you maybe you are thinking, I need to end this. I need to quit because I'm falling in love. But the knight of coin is an offer. It's slowly moving forward. So there, there could be, though, something else involved in another relationship like a like I said, so maybe it's you. Maybe you are trying to get out of a toxic, unhealthy relationship here. What else fell out was 10 of coins with the king of coin in reverse. So he's in reverse also. So this definitely could be an earth sign you're involved with, or they are. Knight of swords, five of cups, seven of wands. Wow, this person is trying to come back into your life. They may try to apologize with the five of cups, but I see you pushing them away, seven of wands maybe married to this person or they are it could be their energy they could be married to someone this person may have a very bad temper but they are coming in quickly with this with some type of apology or regret but you may be saying too little too late so this could be on your side or this other person's side so it does feel like what to do you're falling in love the two of you are falling in love you know that there's something here between the two of you they are giving you some type of offer here. I feel like you're trying to resist this. So you're just kind of confused about this. What is the moon energy? What is the moon energy? You need to think about this. The four of swords. Whoops. Hanged man just kind of fell out. So you need to take some time and look at this from a different angle get some clarity about this person what i am going to do though libra is extend this reading and i'm going to see this appears to be the person so i'm going to take this man or woman out and we'll see what he or she is thinking what's on their mind because you need to know this before you start this love affair or something and then you know get your heart broken so we'll see what they're feeling and thinking and i will talk to you soon